Microsoft Office is a great resource for clip art and digital photos that can be used in student multimedia projects. I'm going to demonstrate how to use PowerPoint to find digital photos and then to export those photos as JPEG files that can be used in Microsoft Photo Story and other multimedia software applications. In this example, I'm searching for pictures of students. But in this case, I'm not interested in going through all of the clip art. I'd really like to find some digital photos. So I can limit my search results to photos only if I uncheck the box next to clip art. I'll select this photo. The next thing I need to do is to make this photo full screen. So to do that, I'm going to drag it to the upper left corner of my slide and then I'm going to drag the lower right corner of the photo until it fills up the slide. The reason I drag the corner is to keep the proper proportions and to not distort the photo. I create a separate slide for each photo that I wish to use in my project. And what's really nice about using PowerPoint to do this is that I can combine clip art or photos change the background colors, use the drawing tools, add text or word art, and then save my creation as a JPEG that I can use in other applications. When I'm finished, it's time to save my slides as JPEGs. I click on File, Save As, and then I have to change the Save As type to JPEGs. I have to scroll down the list until I find JPEG. Now I'll click on Save, and in this case, I want to export every slide in the presentation as a separate JPEG, so I'm going to click on every slide, and now every slide has been saved as a separate file in a folder, and in this case, I put that folder on my desktop so it would be easy for me to find. Here now is the folder that I created when I saved my PowerPoint presentation as the JPEGs. Inside the folder, I have four separate pictures, one for each slide that I created. You'll notice that the slide names are pretty generic. They just say slide one, slide two. I can always go back and change those file names to something that's a little more meaningful or descriptive if I want to. But now these slides that I created in PowerPoint have been transformed into JPEGs and that's a pretty standard file format that can be used in a variety of different multimedia applications. And now I'm going to use the photos I created in PowerPoint in my photo story project. So I click on the button that says import pictures. I navigate to the folder where I save the pictures. I select them and click on OK and now I'm ready to begin working on my photo story project using the pictures I created in PowerPoint.